secret for you. It's something that all hairdressers know, but we don't really talk a lot about it. Do you wanna know what it is? Flat irons, curling irons, those hot tools, they're not nearly as important as you think they are. My hair, and very likely your hair as well if you're watching this video, dries like this. This is how it naturally air dries. My hair is not even that damaged or that colored or bleached, and yet I still look like some weird fuzzy puffball when my hair air dries. Cute, right? It's not cute. If I take a flat iron to my hair in this natural air dried state, my hair all of a sudden becomes quite flat and you know pancaked, but it still doesn't feel super smooth, no matter which amazing flat iron I use. And that's why I'm telling you that hot tools like flat irons, curling irons, all that stuff, they are important in the sense that they will get you the style that you want, but they're not as important as you think they are because you need a great base to work with in the first place. The reason that I know this is because all of my clients that come into the salon, whenever they leave, they always say the same thing. My hair never feels as good, never looks as bouncy, never feels as smooth as when you do it. Why is that? The blow dry. The most important tool that you need in your kit in order to get your hair to look like it does when you leave the salon is a blowout brush. I have said this before and I'll say it again and at the risk of sounding totally dramatic, a blowout brush is literally gonna change your life. Let's start by answering some very important questions. What is a blowout brush? A blow brusher blowout brush, which is the one that I'm showing you today, is a three in one hair styler. So it's like if a blow dryer, a flat iron, and a round brush had a baby. She's beautiful. And then that baby grew up and became your best friend. I love you. How does this tool work? You want to use this tool when your hair is damp. Like 80% dry works, it can be wetter than that, but 80% dry also works. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a trusty old clip, you're gonna section your hair into horizontal subsections moving up the head and rotate the hair through the bristles of the brush. As you pull, you're basically straightening and smoothing out that cuticle, but you're also creating massive volume and tons of shine. What I really, really love about this tool is that it's not bulky, it's super easy to hold and to use, and it's a, just a really high quality item. Something else that's great about it is that it has multiple temperatures. So you have an off switch, a cool, a low, and a high. If you are someone that has really dry, damaged hair or super, 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 super fine hair and you're just terrified of more heat damage, then you can go down and use either the cool or the low button and you're still gonna get a nice smooth result but you're not going to blast it as much with so much heat. If you have really wavy hair, super coarse hair, very frizzy hair like me, then you can go up to the high button and that's gonna give you a ton of control and it's also gonna speed up the blow dry like crazy. I timed my blowout when I filmed this video and it took me exactly 10 minutes to do my entire head from start to finish and I was starting with pretty wet hair. So just look at this end result. This is absolutely amazing. If you look at my before and you look at my after, even though I did not use a flat iron at all on my hair, my hair is now bouncy, it's super shiny, it's super smooth, it almost feels like a different person's head of hair. All of that like crispiness and crunchiness that I get when I air dry my hair is completely eliminated when I blow it out. And the easiest way for me to blow out my hair is to use a blow dryer brush. And that's the easiest way for you to blow out your hair. If you don't wanna hold a brush and a blow dryer and have that tension and that awkwardness in your arms, just get something like this. It's already put in together and you're gonna end up with like a salon quality result in your own home really, really quickly and with very minimal effort. Now that you've spent like 10 minutes it's getting that perfect base. You can go in with a flat iron if you want to give it a little bit more smoothness or you want it to look a little bit flatter or you could go in with a curling iron and it's going to make your hair super bouncy and sexy and wavy and like 
all the good things. As long as this is your base, pretty much anything that you do with your hair after this is gonna look amazing, including like updos or ponytails or anything like that. Since Christmas is just around the corner, I definitely approve this brush as a gift for a sister, a girlfriend, a wife, a friend, a mom. This is just such an amazing tool. You can use my code GAB15 and that's gonna give you 15% off, which I'm sure we can all use in the year of 2020 with Christmas around the corner and everything everything being so crazy. I'm gonna be leaving a link to this product in the description box as well as in the pinned comments. If you guys want more tips on how to keep your hair frizz free and super smooth overnight and in humidity, then check out this video next. I'll see you in a few days, bye.